Hello everyone, this is the tutorial for problem 3.3, the I-beam, the wide flange beam on page 111. If you do not have your books open to page 111, go ahead and pause the video and get your books open to page 111. So let's look at the 2D drawing here first. You can see that it's just a wide flange I-beam and there's a linear pattern over here and then we mirror the linear pattern over to the other side. You'll also notice that when we create this very first I-beam, it's uh, a mirror image all the way around. So I'm actually only going to draw a quarter of it and just mirror it over the center lines. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on that. Alright, so I'm going to start out with an extrude boss base in my front plane. I'm going to draw two center lines, one vertical from the origin and one horizontal from the origin. Then I'm going to draw a regular line to create a quarter of the uh, of the flange. Let's move this guy over this way. There, that's better. Okay, so um, now it's just time to put some dimensions in. Uh, and the dimensions for this part are actually on page 110. So from the outside corner to the center and across is 16.475. The uh, corner here to the center and across is 17.920. The thickness is 2.66. And then the center wall thickness is. Um, 1.655. All right, now I'm just going to use my mirror entities uh, sketch tool to mirror these entities about my center line, and I'm going to use the mirror entities tool again to mirror these guys across the opposite center line. It doesn't matter which center line you do first. All right, so there's that sketch. Hit the purple arrow. Now when I do this, I want to do a mid-plane extrusion, and this is going to ensure that the front plane crosses through the center of my wide flange I-beam. I'm going to extrude this to, let me check here, I'm just looking, 36 inches. <clears throat> Alright, so there's my I-beam, and you can see that the uh, sketch is in the center of my I-beam. It's very important for when we do the mirror of our linear pattern. So I'm going to do an extrude cut on this surface. I'm going to insert a circle. Smart dimension the circle to 1. Now looking at the 2D drawing, the hole, the, the hole that's in the center, is it's safe to assume that that is in the center of the wide flange beam. So the holes are four inches apart, which means that from the midpoint to the center of the circle is four inches. Now from the center of the circle to the outside is two inches. And now I have a fully defined sketch. I'm going to go ahead and extrude cut this. I'm going to do a linear pattern, features tab linear pattern. And my direction one, let's make it left and right. Direction two, let's make it up and down. T-shirts are on sale in the main office. And the distance between holes left and right is three inches. And there are two instances left and right. The distance between the holes up and down is four. And there are three instances. Now I'm going to use my features tab mirror. I have to select a face or a plane to mirror this over. I'm going to select my front plane, and since I did it as a mid-plane extrusion, my front plane is in the center of my I-beam. Features to mirror, I'm just going to select linear pattern 1, hit the green check mark, bada bing bada boom, done. Alright, so um, I am going to change the material type, edit material, uh, let's change it to plain carbon steel. Now that has all the mass properties of the plain carbon steel I-beam in the book. So let's go file, make drawing from part. 
It's going to make me save it. I'm just going to save it as junk to my desktop because I already have one done. I don't want to save over. Junk. Browse for my template. And I'm just going to drag in my front view, drag in my right view. All right. And these are a little bit small. Let's see if we can make them a little bit bigger. I'm going to use a custom scale of eight. Okay. Um, you can also change the scale by right clicking and going to sheet properties and changing it there. Um, and that'll update your scale down here in your title block as well, because that was just one to 12. All right, so it's time to insert dimensions. Okay, so some came in, some didn't come in. All right, so let's arrange these around where these dimensions need to be. I'm just looking at our book here. And we don't need that four, that's extra. This 17.92, I'm going to hold shift and drag that over to my front view because that's where I want that. And it's the same thing with this 2.66. I want that in my front view as well. And now I just need to put in a couple dimensions that didn't go in. So smart dimension, this wall thickness, and looking at my... Uh, measurement in the book I know that one's wrong so I'll go back into my 3d drawing and change that and the width there all right so let's go ahead and fix that um, dimension here oh, you see what I did is I didn't drag it across the center line so smart dimension to the center line and across the center line is 1.655 alright now we're good alright and you see it updated there okay and looks like all my decimal places are correct now if you do need to change your the number of decimal places shown which over here we don't need so many so we can actually just go over here and reduce the number of decimal places shown alright oh you know what that's not the right one there's the one I'm looking for alright so we have to increase the decimals here I thought something looked a little funny that was the one that I already had finished increase these decimal places and then I have to add 6x in front of this so you, we know that all six of those holes are one inch in diameter and I'm just gonna go around and clean up some of these dimensions Alright, now let me just check and make sure that uh, all the dimensions I need are in there. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so that's all the dimensions. Now we just need to put in the note that says material, cast, carbon, steel. Alright, and then just uh, make sure that your title block is completely filled out with the correct scale, the correct date, your name, and the correct title. Save this as P3.3 wide flange beam.